Ladies and gentlemen, this video is now in session. Obi-Wan 362, Gamer Law presiding. Last time on Fallout New Vegas, we explored Camp McCarn uh, and got a quest, learned of some dastardly stuff that a couple of the fiends have done, and we're going to go right some wrongs here in a little bit. But before we do that, we're back here at this old shack. You know why? Because I finally looked up the video and realized that this terminal... was allegedly what I needed Veronica for, but apparently I still need new key. Gosh dang it. Alright, so here we are back at Camp McCarn. And we has we have some work to do. Think we wanna go this way? It's really hard to tell. Uh, I think we're going to go this way, and then that way? Yeah. Because we're, we're going to go hunt down, we're going to hunt ourselves a Bramin. No one's getting in our way. Except maybe the psychopath that we're out, whose Brahmin we're out to kill. It's a good thing that my varmint rifle has a scope on it. Actually, we should probably take the high ground. It's a high road and a low road. We should take the high road. You take the high road and I'll take the low road, but I'll take the high road because I don't want to die. Yep, that's how the song goes. What's up, sir? When I got this assignment, I was hoping to do more gambling. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah, that's funny. Oh ho! Why would I? I don't want to shoot them or him. Okay, so to actually get over there is gonna—it's gonna take some doing, huh? That figures. No one ever said this was going to be easy. Meh. Eddie! Gotcha! I at least hit you once. Boom. Okay, guys, we're, we're hidden. We're hidden, so don't let them know we're here. Ignore the fact that my hat is very, very identifiable and huge. <gasps> varmint rifle. Dang it. Get over. How's my varmint? Oh, I could use this to repair my varmint rifle. Varmint rifle's still in pretty good shape, but... Let's get this reloaded. We can murder all these guys before they have a chance to do anything. Just, that'd be swell. This doesn't look sanitary. Okay, like, just gives them like a nice lookout perch. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. I had a thing sitting on my desk and it slid. And it scared me. Really, guys? Oh, dang. 
Gosh dang it. What the? Alright, sure. Guys, guys, just stop. I missed. Eddie, stop playing that music. That's weird. Eddie, are you pushing me? Eddie, don't push me. There's like a person right near here somewhere. Alright. So where are these cows? They're, it's still that way. We got ways to go still. Come on, guys. Bum, bum. Ooh, Blastmaster armor. That sounds cool. I'll leave it though. Might get it later. Yeah! Ooh, she got a cigarette. Nice. Payne's Pike armor? Nah, you can keep it. I don't look like it covers much. Um. Oh, shoot. I only need, I only need one of these. Ooh. Let's just do it this one. Eddie! Eddie! Baby, love doll face. Look, I have this wonderful laser RCW for you. Whatever that stands for. It's not over there. That looks important. Is that the vault? Anyway, we're being hidden. If we're, if we're stealthy about this, then maybe we can get away with murder of a cow. She is so far away. Yeah! There goes your leg. Got him. And stop playing that music. Do you want the entire fiend army to know we're here? Oh, jeez. Do we even know where we're going? Holy poop. That's a lot of red. We're going to have to be pretty freaking sneaky. Can I climb up this? Yeah. Currently hidden. Not what I want. Where is that Brahmin? Guys, we might have a problem.
Are you guys fighting? Oh! Frickin' poopin' Bananas. Alright. Interesting. I'm being cautious. Oh! You guys get us into more trouble. Really? Veronica, get out of there! You're an idiot. Oh, I gain karma. Well, look at that. Man, I really wanted to get to kill the cow. And have the guy freak out about that. But so much for that. Drink a nuke. And a sarsaparilla. Sup, cook, cook. This is bad. Uh, where's where's my super suit? Um. Yeah. Look looked like that worked. Didn't look like it did a lot, but it looked like it worked. Um Cad didn't work. Let's try let's try a frag grenade. Okay, I've, I've crippled his legs. Suck it! Yeah! Suck it, cook, cook! Oh. Shoot! I disintegrated him. There goes my reward. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> We're gonna use this for a while. Try to get myself stuck. How do I get out of here? Man, how is there still... They're still evil. Is our 
Corpse this Fiend. Hunting rifle. Uh, casings. Couple rounds. Are you guys okay? Oh, freaking gosh! Veronica, I was coming here. Check on you. And there you are. Back alive and by my side. Oh, uh, I don't really want a baseball bat. Dang it, cook, cook. Why, uh, why you make me go and do that, huh? Oh, somehow Cook Cook's mangled head survived that. Arc light helmet. That's cool. I'll take it because it looks cool. What was that? Oh. It was the sound of me severing his head. Ugh. That wasn't cool, guys. Like, how... Where is this cow at? Where is C Cook Cook's cow? Oh, look, I can activate this campfire. <gasps> Fiend stew? What is that? Oh, no. But I want it. Ooh, Brahmin meat. Did he, ki did he kill his own Brahmin already? <gasps> hey, girl. Oh, no, 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 no. Shh. This is my chance. This is the chance I've been waiting for, people. I feel better now. I was like, I'm never going to get to use this gun. But then, th then there it was. My opportunity. Save that a little longer, I suppose. Um, man, these guys have some good stuff. Fresh potatoes. Just killed that Brahmin. Where's Eddie? There you are, Eddie. Man, I've been looking for you. You had me worried, bud. Here, I'd like for you to take a flamer. Because it's enormous and heavy. And here, also have an incinerator. Because they're stupid heavy. And no one really needs one. It's like the laser RC, RCW. And, um, could you hold on to my extra varmint rifle, buddy? You're a pal. Alright, let's go out the window. I killed this Brahmin. I want its meat, dang it. Really? I guess really... <laughs> you guys, you're so stealthy. Listen, Brahmin. <laughs> that's that's all I wanted you to hear. The sound of your death. Just take these fiend Brahmins stakes. And then let's fast travel out of here. We did a good thing today. We killed Cook Cook. And have his mangled head. I wanna know how it, we got a mangled head considering we hey. turned him into ashes, but Good to see a friend of our government. Wanna trade hmm. Ranger at the ready. 
Nice job out there. I try. I do try. A lot. <laughs> it's really hard, guys. <laughs> it's such a thankless job. <gasps> Wandering through the wilderness. With a robot with no name. Slaying outlaws. For days. <gasps> days on end where all I do is murder people. <gasps> it's a hard life. It's a thankless life. But I do it. For the fans. Right, I see you're still alive, and that's promising. Any luck on that bounty? <laughs> it could have gone better. This is Cook Cook. Oh, he sure did a number on his face. I'm not allowed to give you the full reward, but thanks for taking this guy That's down. fine. It's payback for at least one of my troopers. She'll be glad to know he's dead. Here's your caps. Okay, more open bounties. Damn right. Uh, driver Nephi. You've got some guts. I'll give you that. Nephi is one tough son of a bitch. You let him get close, and he'll take your head off. Oh, you could try. My advice is this: talk to Lieutenant Gorabets. He's in charge of Alpha Team First Recon. Snipers. Gotcha. If you're lucky, you can lure Nefi into the open and the sharpshooters can bring him down. You bring me the head, you'll still get the bounty. It's a better oh. bet than trying to take Nefi one on one, but it's your call. Uh. That sounds cool to me. Now, lots of soldiers around. Where's first recon? Out in the yard. Gorobets coordinates our sniper teams. He's been gunning for Nefi for weeks now. Only thing he hasn't had is willing bait. Don't have enough troops to order anyone beyond the fence. Not anymore, anyway. Fair enough. <laughs> Sounds like fun. I'll get on You've it. You've gone after the fiends before. I don't have to tell you to keep alert. Good luck. Oh. Uh, tell me again what you know about the target. Driver Nefi is a monster in close combat with that golf club of his. That's that right. That man is about as fast on his feet as any legionary. If you haven't already, see about getting Gora Betts and First Recon to help. Perfect. Right. Where are you fellas at? All right, where is, where's Nephi at? I guess I should ask that first. Oh man, he's way down there. Figures. Um. First Recon. Gora Betts. Gorbat, Gorbashi Berserker, where are you? You in here? You're Betsy. Betsy. I've been seeing Usanagi and things are better. I'm not so angry all the time, you know? And, uh, I'm not trying to jump every woman in camp. Well, not all the time, anyway. Good to know. Thought you should know. Kokoku's dead. You killed him? Well, shit. Here I dreamed up this whole elaborate revenge fantasy. Sorry. Didn't really think I'd do it, but as long as the tubby bastard was actually alive, I could pretend like I would. Uh. Here, I owe you. Oh, okay. Take it and get out of here before I indulge my inner bitch and spoil the moment. <laughs> wow. Wow. What is that? That's 380 NCR dollars? Dang, woman. Not another sniper rifle anybody here wants to give me, is there? Gorbets, get out of bed! Hello. What can I do for you? Major Daughtry said I should talk to you about taking down... Nefi? Whatever you need, we'll make sure it gets done. Can you tell me about Nefi? Not enough. We've been trying to put a bullet in him for a few weeks. He's strong as a Brahmin bull, and he's fast. Mm -hmm. Seems like he usually runs with a gang of fiends. Uses them for cover. We haven't been able to get a clean shot at him. Betsy swears she's hit him. Twice. <laughs> but if she's right, it didn't seem to slow him down. That's terrifying. How good is your squad? I've been sniping since I was old enough to walk. A lot of us sharpshooters get recruited off the farms and ranches out west. Comes natural to us. Ugh. As for my squad, they're the best we have. My word on that. They're all hand-picked, and I won't work with anybody who isn't up to snuff. Ten of spades is the greenest of the bunch, but he's a farm boy, like me. Shooting's in his blood. Good to know. Gonna need your help. You've got it. What did you have in mind? You thinking of luring him into range of my snipers? Uh... <laughs> Do you think that will work? Can we hit him? 
Damn straight we can. Question is whether he kills you before we get a clear shot. It's one hell of a risk you'd be taking, but if you're willing, we'll do everything we can to keep you alive. Oh, that's that's promising. All right, I'll do it. Listen, my team has a debt to settle with Nafai. We've seen too many of our boys get brained by that golf club of his. You lure him out for us, and if we can score some payback, we'll all pitch in caps for a reward. Sounds my good team to me. will take up positions around the old rock crushing plant. They'll wait until they see Nafai, and then they'll start shooting. At that point, just keep your head down and stay out of range of his golf club. We'll take care of the rest. Get your rifles and move out first, Recon. We've got a fiend to kill. Oh, wow. These guys are excited. They're like, we're taking down Nefi? Oh, heck yeah. Get, get out of my way. Well, shoot. I got them all excited, and I'm like, mm, do I want to do that right now? I think I do. It's over right here. I should go inside the airport. Cool. Bet these doors don't open. Oh my gosh, they do! Holy crap! Hello? There's a lot more troops here than we thought. No wonder we couldn't hold Helios 1. Yeah, you'd, you'd been screwed. You guys were screwed, and you didn't even know it. Checking in with the base, huh? Yeah. Just looking around, being nosy, you know, the huge. Anything handy here? Anything you guys don't need? I want to open the duffel bag. Gosh, I want to take... You all have so much stuff, I just want to take some of it. I think you need it. I wonder if they'll let me have that Nuka-Cola down there. We know I am a fan of Nuka-Cola. Something I can do for you? I'm usually good with faces, huh. but I don't think I've seen you here before. What brings you to Camp McCarran? Looking around. Here's provide support. Hmm. You don't cook by any chance, do you? Farber's doing his best, but it's hard to manage an army with half my staff in line for the latrine. Good. Honestly, we're fighting a lot of fires right now. The fiends keep pressing their position from Vault 3. Gotcha. We've got the Legion breathing down our necks across the river. We actually took an officer alive last week, but so far he hasn't spoken a word. Really? Hmm. But I can get him to talk. I have Lieutenant Boyd on that already, and she's excellent, but I think she's hit a wall. Talk to her if you like. See if she has any use for you. Her office is right above mine, but I think she might be interrogating right now. So she'd be upstairs on the other side of the building. Gotcha. Uh... Who are the fiends? As in Ken <laughs> Fiends. Biggest gang of raiders I've ever seen. Nothing like addiction to swell your numbers. Psychotic and completely unpredictable. They set up shop in Vault 3 to the west. Every day they attack our positions and my men repel them. But every gotcha. day there's more of them and less of us. I sent one of my rangers after their leader to try and destabilize them. He didn't return. Hell hmm. of a thing, losing a ranger. You come to depend on them. And they come through for you so often... You forget it can happen. I'll see if I can find your ranger. That vault is a hornet's nest. If you have second thoughts, no one would think less of you for it. But if you can get him home, it'd mean a lot. Watch for civilians, we'll too. The fiends have been kidnapping locals. They just walk right into people's homes in the middle of the day and take them. But the That's not cool. For is Bryce Anders. Anders was trying to find the leader, Motor Runner. You hear something like a chainsaw? You found Motor Runner. Put a bullet in his head, and you'll have some new friends around here. Gotcha. Any other problems? Yeah. On top of everything else, I can't send a patrol on a bathroom break without it being ambushed by someone who heard they were coming. So somebody's getting the word out. Oh. You, you seem pretty calm given how bad things are. Calm is what you have to be when people look to you. And it's all you can be when things are out of your hands. How are things going for the NCR around here? Could be better, I'll say that much. We set up here with our sights set on annexing New Vegas. That's a lot of resources that could do a lot of good for us. But that hasn't happened. 
Yeah, it if sounds like. they annexed us, they rake in the profits from our soldiers and we're stuck protecting them from the Legion. Hm. Not exactly the plan. So where does that leave you? Now we're trying to secure the strip and the dam at the same time, and it's costing us. And in yeah. the meantime, General Oliver won't approve any offensive maneuvers because he doesn't want to risk losing our positions. So we're in a holding pattern here. And Caesar's on the other side of the river, planning. Right. Hmm. I can look into who's leaking NCR intelligence. Hmm. Well, why not? Given your recent arrival, at least I can safely rule you out as the leak. I'd Amen. like to have absolute trust in my men, but that's just not practical right now. Go ahead and look into it. See what you find. We don't have much to go on right now. Lately, every raiding party in New Vegas seems to have a map of our troop movements. It derails gotcha. everything. Supplies, reinforcements, and it'll only get worse the longer we let it go on. Gotcha. Captain Curtis is heading up the investigation right now. He can fill you in. It's him. He's doing it. Oh. I put a spell on you. What's Captain Karen's role in NCR operations? It's our main base. We took it because it lets us keep an eye on the strip. And it had already been fortified before the Great War. From here, we handle most of the logistics for our operations in Nevada. Troop allocation, supply distribution, intel. Mm -hmm. Usually, General Oliver runs the show here. But he's on his way to the dam now, so I've taken on a lot of his duties here. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, are things mostly quiet between here and the dam? Unfortunately, no. In fact, the word from the ranger stations has been especially concerning lately. Yeah, that's Sounds bad. like they've run into overwhelming resistance, and supplies just aren't reaching them. That's it's bad. been so bad, I asked Sergeant Reyes at Camp Forlorn Hope to look into it, and see how it is that things could be so fouled up there. Did you hear anything? What challenges does the NCR face here? News at 11. Everything was going according to President Campbell's plan at first. We met minor resistance from local troublemakers. But our two main objectives are still contested. Mr. House controls the Strip, and he won't so much as meet with our ambassador. Oh, I'll and meet with him. Hoover Dam. But Caesar's Legion is positioning itself to overrun it. If it falls, so will New Vegas. We'd be forced to withdraw. Gotcha. Okay, goodbye! Bye. We got so many quests out of that. Dude, the least you can do is let me use your stuff. I'm going to solve all of your problems for you. Gosh dang it, stealing. Boo. Boo. Alright, well. Oh! Lee crap, Doc! Hello. A little busy at the moment, but I can talk. Good to know. What is this place? This? The OSI lab. We don't get many visitors. The smell puts people off, I think. Luckily, I don't have smell of it. Nobody ever said science would smell clean and fresh. Anyway, you get used to it if you give it some time. I'm sure. Are you a scientist, Miss Angela Williams? I know, I don't sound the part. Get raised by Brahmin ranchers and you never lose the twang. Fair. Drives Hildren crazy. <laughs> but I know every inch of the power grid from Hoover Dam to Shady Sands. That's Ooh. what we do here. Try to optimize the power output from the dam. That's cool. Some of the others are working on an agricultural project, but truth be told, they aren't making much progress. Not yet, anyway. Gotcha. So what is your role here? Head researcher. Mostly on the dam project, but I help out on other things when they need me. Gotta be flexible. Oh, I'm sure you are. I mean, what? Shh. Calm down, Veronica. Uh, need help with anything? You mean, give you work? No, that'd be up to the administrator, Hildren. He's back there in his office. Between you and me, I don't think he ever leaves. Huh? Plenty of mercs go in to see him, though. Uh, why does he need mercs? I can't say. We're not supposed to talk about the research, not the details. If you're interested, I'm sure he'd see you. All right, well, goodbye. Nice. If you need anything, I'm almost always in the lab. Well, good to know. Well, this is fun. Who knew there was more... There was more to this place than what we had seen before. There's more than meets the eyes here, ladies. But for now, I think that's going to end off this episode of Fallout New Vegas. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you were able to enjoy it. Next time. Oh, we have things to do. We have things to do. Go up, talk with the woman who's interrogating the fiend. The fiend. Go back here, talk with 
Wilfred. Hello. Will. Will. This guy. Hildred. Hildern. Hilder. 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 Um. And. Finally. Head off and take down. Driver Nefi. But. Till then. Again, thank you all for watching this. If you enjoyed this episode, please, there is a like button. And if you didn't, well, there is a dislike button for that as well. You can avail yourself of it. Comment section, please leave them. Especially if you have ideas of where we should be heading off to, what we should be doing, all that fun stuff. That's what the comment section is there for, people. But anyway, again, this has been Obi-Wan 362. And Hello. this episode is adjourned. And it's that constant reminder that keeps them docile. In that case, maybe you'd better save the collar you were going to give me. Oh? For whom? For a friend of mine you're about to meet. My friend isn't very docile. And who is this friend of yours? You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? Of course. My friend doesn't. Oh, and Seelus, if you resist at all, I'll personally blow your brains out.